hello everyone welcome once again to my channel in this video i'm going to um show you how to navigate through the um zendesk um tool okay so um if you do not already have an account uh, with zendesk um what you want to do when you just um go to your web browser and type on zendesk.com then you just come over here and click on free trial right so when you click on free trial so it takes you here to register then you go ahead and impute your email then click on next so now you see great what is your first name you impute your first name then click on next then and also add your, your last name click on next okay then it will be required to actually go ahead and impute your phone number then you impute your phone number then you go ahead to next then you will also be required to ask, also add your company right so you add your company then click on next okay then and how many employees are there at your company so you choose how many employees so if it's this if it's this so you choose how many employees you have at your company right so for the purpose of this video we are using this okay so then you click on next okay so then your language you select a language right if it's english if it's any language of your choice you choose then click on next okay so lastly create a password so then you go ahead and create a password then go ahead and click on complete trial sign up right so once you are done with complete um trial sign up then you are being redirected to the page to to go ahead and and sign in right so now you go ahead and sign in so but in a situation whereby you have you have um some kind of sometimes where after after um signing up you have some error some error message coming up so when you have such error message coming up what you're going to do is just um you just you have to um uh, actually um just um make a complaint through the customer support right you will see when the error comes you would have the platform to actually make a complaint right so you make a complaint and the account will be opened right so now let me go ahead to log in Okay, so so once I'm here, so once I'm I'm done actually um um you know signing up, so I just come to sign in. So if I'm done signing up, I can just come to sign in and click on sign in. Then sign in, sign in. So I have to use the option that is actually um suitable for my sign in, right? The particular option, right? So in the email, I was I was sent an email during my sign my sign up, and I had the company name that I'm, I'm going to use so this is the company name i click on it so then i go ahead impute my email address and also impute my password then click on sign in okay so now once you get your dashboard you, your dashboard gives you an overview of actually what you have right so you can see it gives you an overview so at this point in time i'm going to take a little um time to actually um um just give you a little idea of what um zendesk is all about Zendesk, all right. So Zendesk is a customer service and support platform that provides businesses with tools to manage customer interactions and support requests. Okay, so so it's actually a very very important tool which helps to manage um, customer um, interactions and also to also um, you know support platform. It, it also um, provides businesses with tools to manage uh, customer interactions. So it manages customer interactions, customer requests, right? So, and um, it was founded in 2007 by uh, Mikhail Sven, Alexander, and uh, Martin, all right? So, the, the goal of Zendex is to simplify the customer support process by offering a unified platform for communications and issue resolutions. So, we have some of the key features of, um, the, of Zendesk, right? But number one, we have the ticketing system, all right? So um, the, 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 the core functionality revolves around a ticketing system. Yeah, so we try to um, like support requests from various channels, such as emails, chats, social media, and phone. They are all consolidated into a centralized system, making it easy for support agents to manage and prioritize. All right, so, so the, the, the support agents are able to actually manage these requests, right? Or like issues uh, from customers. They can use, um, you know, Channels, right? Various channels like social media channels, right? Like you know, email, even chats, then phone to manage, um, you know, these requests from customers or issues from customers. So it's it's the ticketing system, like you know, we in in the in, in Zendesk we have a 
a, a, a an element which we will use you know to create like we call it tickets so we just create tickets right for a, a customer like let's say a customer inquiry we we'll create ticket for it a customer probably issue we we'll create ticket for them for it so so um the the uh, zendesk has this provision just like the fresh desk um um tool as well which has the provision for the ticketing system where we create ticket for each um for each customer's um, complaint or each customer request or each, each customer inquiry right so then number two we have multi-channel support so zendex enables businesses to engage with customers across different communication channels yeah so this allows support teams to handle customer inquiries from email live chats phone calls social media and more all within a single interface so from the zendesk um from the from the zendesk um um, uh, um interface um you know you know you can manage um an agent can manage um um several you know you know um handles you know you can, you can manage several kind of um you know um communications uh, um, with, with customers and all that all right so it has a multi-channel support it also has a self um service option yeah the self-service option where you have um, a, a provision where you have them um, frequently asked questions so sometimes you will not need to to reach out to your customer support because if you go to the platform you have the um faqs as you frequently asked questions so probably you have a particular issue and you want to you want to get you want to troubleshoot and you just go to that place and you check the frequently asked questions when you go through them you might see an issue that is peculiar to yours and you just see a breakdown of how it was resolved and you don't so uh, uh, by so doing you won't need a customer support you won't need to reach out to any agents you just go ahead and and um and troubleshoot and and get a breakthroughs okay so the fourth one we have the automation and workflows now we know what automation is like we discussed in trello so we discussed automation automation is just like it's just very simple um um simple technique which um you know just like the alarm clock right you can automate your your alarm right you can set your alarm every day i want you to ring at 5 p.m every day so every day once it is 5 p.m you get an alarm so it's an it's an automation okay so it's an automation you get the alarm it rings right it rings and you have automated it to ring that way every day so this is an automation so that is um what we have like we have here zendesk provides automation tools that help streamline support processes businesses can create workflows to automate repetitive tasks route tickets to the appropriate agent and set up triggers based on specific conditions so you don't need to begin to re re repeat tasks so tasks that are that are actually um repetitive you don't you don't need to repeat them you just automate them so when the time comes when the need comes you go ahead and just trigger and 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 and, and the job is done okay so number five we have reporting and analytics reporting so zendex includes reporting and analytics tool that allow businesses to track and analyze key metrics related to customer support performance this data helps organizations identify trends measure agent efficiency and make data and make data driven decisions to improve customer satisfaction so this reporting um, um um system is very very important you it helps you to track you know the the the, the customer support performance so the agents the agents are are doing their job right so now you want to track performance you want to see the trends you want to see the analytics how issues were resolved you see a kind of breakdown you know that that helps you have an idea of the performance right of, of the agents right in resolving customer issues right so also have integration um capabilities as number six zendex integrates with a variety of third-party applications and services including crm right so integration right um you know combining now bringing um other tools into one tool so you have it all in one right so all in one so productivity tools and other business applications this ensures a seamless flow of information across different platforms so the zendex the zendex um the zendex you can you can actually um go ahead and even yeah integrate as much tools as possible into zendesk right so you have you yeah, just have it all in one so you are on zendesk you can attend to um several platforms right right from zendesk you get the messages there and also reply from there so right from zendesk so it has such um um, provision then customer satisfaction surveys zendesk allows businesses to gather feedback from customers through surveys yeah so so there's always a survey yeah so this helps organization measure customer satisfaction identify areas for improvement and make data-driven decisions to enhance the overall customer experience so zendesk is widely used by businesses of all sizes 
from startups to large enterprises to enhance their customer support and engagement processes. The platform is known for its user-friendly interface and customizable features that cater to diverse customers' service needs. So this is um, this is Zendex. Okay. So let's let's go back to our dashboard and let's just walk around our dashboard. Okay, so back to our dashboard. So this is a dashboard interface. Now let me take you around the dashboard. Now in this dashboard, from top here, we have the quick add, right? You want to quickly add a ticket, right? A new ticket. You want to add a user, right? You want to also you want to add an organization. You want to search, right? So this is just a quick add, right? You can use at any point in time. Okay, here. So here we have the get started option. You can click on it. So you see get started, right? So you have all this in your guest and um, get started. So right. Um. So then. The next we have the views, right? So this is views. Okay, this is a views option. Okay, you can see views help you filter tickets. Built into Zendex are default views that you can edit, plus set up personal views or create shared views to better collaborate with team uh, members, right? So this is this is um this is a view interface. You can see now your on solved tickets, right? On assigned tickets, on um all on soft tickets recently updated so you see views that so you can always see this i right? can see on 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 solved one your on resolved ticket one so you can see you can always get um some information from this particular um uh, page of uh, views right okay so next you have after the views is customers right so you want to add customers click on let's click on it so okay so customers right so you want to add customers right so this is where you go ahead to add customers right customers then you know you you need to have customers um in order to create fake tickets of course you cannot create tickets when you don't have customers so you must tickets are usually assigned to customers right so this is customers so you can go ahead and add customers so i'm going to do another video and show you how to add how to add customers from this particular um button here so add customers and go ahead then then the next you have is organizations so these organizations okay organizations right so add search and manage organizations in all in one place so here you can add organizations here, right? So customers, a single, a single individual, so organizations, maybe companies, organizations like just like companies, right? Um, a brother, um, a brother one now is you know, um, a company. You can add companies here, organizations. So add organizations. So you can do that here, all right? So then the, the the next one we have is the reporting. So this is reporting. Okay, reporting. Okay, so this gives you an overview of what you have in reporting. Reporting is now powered by Explore. Zendex Explore provides analytics for businesses to measure and improve the entire customer experience. So this report in here, you get um, an overview of, you know, the the um, the support system, uh, the, the the performance, right? Um, the agents are able to actually give to customers. So what's the performance? What's, how are they able to attend to customers? What issues were, what tickets were created? What, how many were, were resolved? Then you can actually track the, the performance of, of the agent. So in actually attending to customers. So this is reporting, right? So then the last one we have there is the admin. This is admin. So see this is just is it's just similar to to um to fresh desk, right? It's just similar to fresh desk. Um Zendex. Yeah, so it's similar to fresh desk. So the the the, the, the elements we have here are just similar to those we have. So well they they do just like um similar functions, right? So this is admin, right? So support system setting are in admin center so you can do your support setting um settings here on admin just like settings you can see this settings icon so and it's called admin both on fresh desk and also on um on zendesk right so this is an overview of uh the, the zendesk tool so you can see featured usage you can see this so um this is an overview so up here we have here you can set your your presence if you are online or not you can see this this icon here, if you click on it, you can set to be online or away or invisible. Okay, so for now I'm invisible. So you can set online, so you can set your presence, right? So this is notifications. This is notifications. You can see your notifications, messages from people and all that notifications. All right. So here well, we have the uh, you know the Zendesk scam chats. So you can have some chats, right? From probably um your teammates and the rest of them you have your chats right so then we also have the zendex, zendex and products so zendex products just like a marketplace right on 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 fresh just we have it like marketplace so just your zendex products 
so they also have the the help the help um like the, the help um like support right which is this one when you click on it you say like help right so you get support from here right you can get support okay so then we also have um your profile this is your profile when i upload the picture and image i'm going to see myself here so i can, I can also click on it yeah so here i have product updates yeah, this is me so then get help which will, which will have just initial which will have just now support help center right um keyboard shortcuts give feedbacks about privacy policy then you can also sign out from this particular uh, platform so this is an overview of the zendesk tool in the next video we are going to look at more we are going to go more deeper into um zendesk and see um what each of these elements can actually um give to us then we go ahead and create um um we go ahead and create um, customers add customers and also create customer tickets right and we we'll see how we can resolve tickets and how zendesk actually work um in general so i hope this video has given you um an insight of what the zendesk tool is all about i'm going to see you in my next video if you have not yet subscribed kindly hit on the subscribe button and also like this video if you actually find it interesting okay and you can drop a comment if you have a question in the comment section um for now i'll just have to say thank you for watching and bye for now